Hi, I'm Paul Richards, Director of Development and Regeneration at Stockport Council, and just wanted to take some time today to share with you the work that we're doing in Stockport Town Centre over the course of the next 12 months or so. But first of all, uh, a little about the One Stockport campaign, which is established during the first lockdown, and has nearly 10,000 followers on social media. It was initially set up as an economic recovery campaign, and has also helped connect communities and promote well-being. Here's the latest video with someone you might recognise. Things have been tough for everyone recently. Well, across Stockport, businesses have taken a proper hit. Right now, it's massively important to buy, shop and do business locally wherever you can, especially for those independent businesses who are at the heart of this place we love. So if you're going for a night out, Go local. And if you're meeting for a catch up, make it local. Oh, aye, proper brew. And businesses, think local for your supplier. And don't forget to shout out local with positive comments on social media. So do your bit to get our borough's businesses bouncing. So come on, Stockport. It's time to get Stockport shopping. <laughs> The Heaton's happening. It's time to get Edgerly energised. Let's keep Hazel Grove growing. Let's get Davenport dining. Off it and on again. Let's get Woodley winning. It's time to get Romilly rising. Let's get Marple moving. <laughs> Heel green, grooving. Cheadle, chomping. Gatley going. Cheadle Heath, flying high. Cheadle Hill, cheering. Bramwell bouncing. Brinkton buzzing. It's time to get reddish roaring. Booming. Everyone can play a part in supporting the many amazing businesses that make us one stop for. It's a tough job. Someone's got to do it. Cheers. Oh, hi. Might take me I'm always excited to talk about what's going on in Stockport, mainly because there's lots to talk about. I think my job is the best in the borough to work with amazing people and partners every day delivering amazing things and together we're making changes to improve the lives of our residents and fortunes of our businesses. There was already a lot going on before the pandemic and crucially we did everything we could to keep going with our plans over the last two years so that we we're in the best possible position when things got back to a little bit more normal. Everything going green on this slide has been delivered in the last five years or is in the process of being delivered. And the main section of this presentation is to let you know about some of the things which have happened recently. Trailers of our coming attractions. As I'm sure you may have noticed, there's a little bit of construction work going on in Stockport at the moment. These photos were all taken in the last week or so. You can't beat a good digger photo. You may remember our tagline from a few years ago was change here. Well, as you can see from these slides and what comes next, change is definitely here. So first of all, the latest office block in Stockport Exchange was finished in May 2020 and we've welcomed BASF and O'Neill patient to it who've made it their new headquarters and we're very close to welcoming tenants to the remaining space. We've also started work on the next block at Stockport Exchange which will be ready in summer of next year, together with a new multi-storey car park to provide spaces for current and future tenants of the exchange. This new block will be 64,000 square feet and create space for another 650 jobs in the town centre. You may have noticed there's a big hole in the ground where the old bus station used to be. This is one of the biggest construction jobs in Greater Manchester and will create by 2024 a new bus station with a two acre green park on top of it 196 new homes, a walking and cycling bridge back up to the railway station and open up the riverside. This has been planned for about six years or so. 
so it's amazing to finally see it on site. You may also have noticed the new Turkish restaurant at Red Rock is very close to being finished and will open in the next few weeks. In addition, the remaining empty space next door is currently being converted into a bowling venue which will be run by the Light Cinema. We're transforming old retail space in the town centre into something new. The conversion of the old Marks and Spencers into office space is well underway and will open in late spring. The conversion has brought to life the old building and should bring another 400 jobs to the town centre. Continuing the theme of converting old retail space into new uses, you will shortly see Stockroom on site, which is funded by £14.5 million pounds of Future High Streets Fund, and will bring a learning and discovery store with a modern 21st century library offer, culture, heritage and community space into the heart of our town centre. But retail still has a huge part to play in our town centre and we're due on site very shortly with the conversion of the old BHS into two new retail units with the announcement of two retailers in the next few weeks. We're looking to create some new co-working space on the upper floors of Mersey Way to enable startup businesses and SMEs to come and experience the town centre and get some great quality space. At the end of last year, we created a pop-up shop unit in the covered section of Mersey Way to allow new retailers to come and have a taste of retailing in the centre of Stockport for up to six weeks. This has proved incredibly successful and is booked up well into summer of this year. Merseyway is the retail heart of the town centre and hopefully we can get back to a more normal programme of activity in 2022, whether it's the Food and Drink Festival or Comic Con. Merseywood is a great example of this. Made with the trees that used to be in Mersey Square, it's providing seating and activities right in the heart of Mersey Way and workshops at the weekend. We're also continuing to invest in new public realm in Mersey Way over the next 12 months. And you will see that work has already started. We appreciate it's going to be slightly disruptive in the short term, but we'll make Mersey Way somewhere really desirable to come. We'll share with you the new images for this later in the spring. Well, the big events planned for this summer is Stock Sport on the 26th of June which builds on last year's 5k and cycling event. Back bigger and better this year, you can sign up for your child's first mile, or if you're more energetic, take part in the 10k. We have a day of cycling and fitness events for everyone, including a return of the popular BMX demos, and then an evening cycle race around the town centre if you've still got any energy left. There's so much going on in the underbanks with seemingly a new business opening there every week. The area really has taken off and there are a dozen or so schemes in the pipeline which will come forward over the next 12 months or so. In my job, I shouldn't really have favorite schemes because we have so many, but this is probably it. What used to be a slightly seedy pub has been restored to its former glory, including a fantastic refurbishment of the clock and bells and will open as a French bistro in a couple of weeks time. Last week, we were really pleased to have been successful in getting £2.63 million from government for the creation of a creative campus in the town centre to help creative businesses thrive. We're working with Manchester Metropolitan University to deliver this, along with Mad Labs, who will deliver a programme of events as well as the conversion of space to enable our creative workspace. A bid has gone in from the Foundation Trust to create a new hospital facility right in the heart of our town centre on the former Debenham site and Heaton Lane car park. If successful, this will create hundreds of new jobs right at the heart of a town. Next, the interchange, Capital and Centric are just about to start work on Weir Mill, which will create another 253 new homes. 100 of these will be in the converted 19th century mill and another 150 in two new build blocks next to it. This will also create some space on the ground floor for bars and restaurants and a big public space right next to the river. Whilst the scheme at Hope's Car is small in comparison to some of the other things that are going on in the town centre, this will create 14 new shared ownership homes on a site that has been empty for some time. This scheme has probably been five years in the making. You'll also have seen work going on from the A6 on the Stockport College campus site, and this will conclude later in the year with the final phases of the work currently on site. 
On the Old College site, Investor will be creating 442 new homes, which is again due to start on site before the summer, and will add another crane to the Stockport skyline. Another scheme where we are building on the heritage of the town is the conversion of the Grade 2 listed workhouse on the former St Thomas's Hospital site to create 68 new affordable homes and a new intermediate care facility, which will allow people to return to their own homes quicker after needing care. This is part of the all age campus we are creating here with lots of green space, shared community growing facilities, and thinking about what else that community might actually need. Thanks for your time today, and hopefully more to come over the course of this year.